there's that scene where he's taking off like like all the prosthetics off his I own think face. I become a man and again. Then, and then he's doing like the five different characters. Like, I'm Neil Armstrong. Terrible. It's the little yeah. things, you yeah. know? Yeah. Terrible movie that just came out, by the way, the little things. But that's another thing. Who's in that? That was the one that was with like Denzel, Leto, and um, wait, Rami whoa. Malek. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, there's, whoa, there's whoa, a new whoa, Denzel whoa, whoa. movie. Hold on. Denzel. Denzel. Jared Leto. And Remy Malik. Yeah. All in a movie together. Made a movie. And it wasn't good. And it wasn't good. It was not good. It was not a fan. At least me. What was it about? So essentially, Denzel plays an older cop who never retires type deal. Rami Malik's the young hotshot detective type guy. Leto is apparently a serial killer. And it's about trying to get Leto. And this was a bad movie? You just you have to watch it to know why. <laughs> like I don't was want. The, was the acting no the acting good? the acting was pretty good outside of Rami Malek. I was I wasn't into his character at all. Leto Leto was good. He just looks he has some prosthetics on his face uh, and he looks a little weird. But he's got his long hair and it's not like a Denzel like he's not like the Equalizer and he's not like kicking the shit. He's like an older cop. Like you're finally yeah. seeing like Denzel's up there. Like he's up there, he's up there now. And uh, it was just a movie I wasn't into. So that's unfortunate because it's one of those movies where great trailer, phenomenal trailer, bad movie. I miss the trailers where we had our boy, Dan, what's his face, where he'd be like, in a world, in a world, in a world where one man. You want to know who kills that? No, like, like absolutely. Like, like who, like not, they killed it. Like they killed it with it. Tropic Thunder. Do you remember that oh, movie? Ben yeah. Stiller? They have the fake oh, trailers. Yeah. In a world. Who opened up the freezer? And like, that's that's a movie that could never happen today, no, too, because of what they did. Because of what they did. It was incredible. RDJ was nominated for an Oscar for that movie. But as RDJ is been. phenomenal in that movie. As he should have been. He was, he was. There's that scene where he's taking off like like all the prosthetics off his I own think face. I become a man again. And then, then he's doing like the five different characters. Like, I'm Neil Armstrong. And like that scene, that year, that was RDJ's year, 2008. Dude. That was the Iron Man year. And then he came out with Tropic Thunder. No, Amazing. I know Tropic Thunder. Thunder's like a crazy funny movie, you know, Kenny Powers blowing off all the things like the 4th of July Fuck and, all, yeah. and all that shit. I, I, I know, but you can't overlook that performance. No, cannot. I, you cannot. I'm a huge Robert Downey Jr. Love guy. RDJ. I don't know that he'll ever top that. I mean, it, it, he basically had to have a schizophrenic attack for an entire movie. I mean, he was an actor within an actor, like in that, within another actor. I'm a what, dude did, playing a dude just as another dress, dude. Dressed as a black guy. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> like, he wore, and, and, and again, it could never happen today. No, cannot. Yeah, not. I, but, believe, I think he was on Joe Rogan talking about it. Like, he like, was. Yeah, he was. Like, yeah. just like, yeah, no, you can't do this anymore. You can't do it. But it doesn't change the fact that it did happen. Yep. And at the time, you know, it, it's not like anyone had the wrong intention with it. No. Like, you have to remember intentionality with it's stuff. It's like a parody. That movie was right. a parody on Hollywood. Right. On Hollywood. Right. So, like, at the time, not to say that, like, that's acceptable, but they were doing, to your point, they're doing it a parody of Hollywood. Mm -hmm. It's supposed to be ridiculous. Yeah. It's, he was playing the actor within the actor within the role within yeah. the movie. Right. So, it was it was probably fine. Today there is such sensitivity around it that they wouldn't do it. Yeah. But if they went to do it and were getting shit for it, I would say I get it. Like yeah. you know what I mean? Like artistically, I yeah. get it because they're trying to show how ridiculous shit is. So mm. like these guys could be stupid enough to be to do something that abhorrent. Yeah. In the movie within the movie. Yeah. And that that was just that was doing that. Now now people are getting about if. If like say a straight person is playing a gay man, they are now yeah. attacking. Like I know James Corden is like under attack right now because he was in like some movie, The Prom on Netflix, where he played a gay man, and people are literally just like, "What the like like why why wouldn't a gay guy play it? like 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 what like that's like I know one thing that they're talking about like right now. I'm just like, well yeah, but like Tom Hanks won an Oscar in Philadelphia playing yeah. playing a gay person. Yep, like the the guy from Modern Family, one guy was gay, the other guy wasn't gay. Yeah. It's tough, but like, like those are like all-time performances. Like, but it was a different time. 